Okay, so let's uh, let's have a look at the aero then. Nice. Back here. Okay. Okay. The aerodynamic improvements we made with version 1.6 are all about the loss of downforce and aero efficiency with the yaw of uh, of the car. So what that means. Um, Obviously, when you are turning into a turn, turning into a turn, um, as we said, your tires have some slip angle, uh, which means that um, you are not traveling at the exact direction of travel, but the whole tire, the whole car, because your rear tires are also slipping and sliding, okay. The whole car is rotated by a yaw angle. Again, here is exaggerated. It's not that much, of course. If it is that much, it's already a moderate slide, okay, especially for GT3 cars. But um, it does have a yaw angle, and turns out that uh, modern wing elements uh, and design are taking into account. Uh, this kind of angle. So as I said, the new, um, the modern aerodynamics take into account a tiny bit of your angle because they know that the cars turning, they have an extra your angle, they have an extra rotation. And usually, most modern aerodynamics uh, get even better, or at least do not lose any efficiency at all uh, at a small degree of extra rotation. So if you are having uh, one, two, three degrees of your angle, you are not losing any efficiency at all. Obviously, you can understand that. The more rotation you have on the car, the more you ang your angle you, you get, and uh, the more the wings start to um, not generate enough, um, uh, enough downforce. And uh, the easiest way to understand this is that obviously uh, if the uh, there is this yaw angle here okay okay so this is the speed of of wind right now you understand that the moment the car is rotated as it is the actual wing doesn't get the whole speed of uh, of the wind over why? Because it is rotated, so it's going to get less, okay? And the more you rotate, the less speed you get. And obviously, with less speed on the wing, you generate less downforce. Up to a point that you are so turned down that the wing, the, the wing might even start to stall because of uh, the many um, dirty air that, that gets. And you're going to lose even more uh, downforce because of that more uh, um, aerodynamic efficiency. All right. Did we simulate that until now? Yes, we did. Even from Assetto Corsa 1, we simulate this. And uh, until now, what was happening was, uh, in Assetto Corsa 1 and Assetto Corsa Competizione, was that by every step of rotation, you would you know, lose more and more and more aerodynamic efficiency. Of course, I had the values to uh, decide how much aerodynamic efficiency I would lose, okay? But obviously, you had to do some uh, uh, compromises. Why is that? Because if you wanted to lose a lot of aerodynamic efficiency at high angles, you had to put values that it would make you lose like even m more at even l small rotation, okay? And that's, that wasn't good because it would mean that as soon as you would rotate towards the turn and you wouldn't even slide it, you would just, you know, making the turn, you would lose so much downforce that it wasn't, it wasn't correct and the car would become unstable or you had to do other things, so it wasn't correct. So you had to compromise and take this, you know, like that, and oops, sorry, and uh, make uh, something like uh, this this curve that we have here, 
which means that you lose not enough downforce, but good enough to have an effect that it is uh, uh, possible to understand. So, as we said, the old model was a compromise, again. And something that was always bothering me is that to have the car uh, behave good enough in small rotations like this, you had to lose so little downforce that at very high speed and high yaw angle, it was easier to drift. That happens pretty much in many simulators, especially older ones. The higher the speed, the easier it was to catch a drift. It was easier. Okay, so th that was something that simply wasn't acceptable for me. It was it, it was bothering me since Netcar, I mean, since the Grand Prix Legends forever. So I didn't like it. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. You are so good. So that was the compromise, of course, because obviously at some point you have to decide and say, okay, mm, when... When it happens that a GT3 car or a Formula car or whatever goes to 15 degrees your angle, not it doesn't happen at every turn, right? Uh, so better have a good um, behavior at the small angles and then just become too easy at, at higher drifts. So as I said, it was a compromise. You had to you know close your nose and say okay. I'll deal with it. The important stuff is when you are, you know, racing properly. And if it's too easy at high speeds, it's okay. Now, with 1.6, we went into that with Fernando, of course. With Fernando, we tried to understand what to do, and we managed to make a better simulation on this stuff with a better equation. And so, for small, as you can see for the uh, new model, uh, for small degrees actually you're not losing any more downforce okay you're not losing downforce at all and uh, as what happens next is as the rotation you know gets uh, wider and wider and more important you start losing a lot so as you can see here you know after the initial rotation you go way down the initial, the, the old model, and you lose lots, lots, lots of downforce. Lots of downforce here. And this is what happens now in Assetto Corsa Competizione. So again, not enough data. We're still fine-tuning. We're still trying to get it as realistic as possible. Uh, but I think we're already in a pretty cool uh, situation. So let's go back to the game and have some demonstration about that. So again, I'm going to use uh, the same setup, no big deal. Let me at least make the car a bit, you know, uh, less heavy. Okay. And let's do a couple of laps. And see what happens. Even if we get the traction control down to zero. But again, you see, you can control it, no big deal. Uh, it's still difficult, okay, it's not an easy thing. Uh, there are still very stiff cars, there are still slick tires that are difficult, there are still lots of downforce even at slow speeds, uh, but it is easier than before and more controllable. See? Third gear, 120 kilometers, still can't control that. Again, you see, you can control this. One one hundred kilometers. Still, this is a high speed. So, uh, and it is a rear engine car, and we don't have enough lock on those cars. They don't have uh, uh, enough lock to to deal with uh, with oversteer. But we can do it. <laughs> Zero's delivery. Yeah. Now let's try to do a couple of slow turns again in similar way and then on the very fast downhill let's try to you know overdo it and see what happens hard but manageable
Whoa, too fast. Whoa, too much. Okay. This is also cumbered. I mean, it's never too easy. And obviously you have more success with a front engine car. But still, I mean, you get it. It's still manageable. Let's go into a faster. Okay. Let's try it here. Did you see the slap tanks that I had to do? I had to really try hard and still wasn't able to control the car. Why is that? Because the speed is higher. And the higher the speed, still we're talking about 150 km per hour, 140. It's not like, you know, extremely high speed. But it's still high speed, okay? So, it's the, the, the higher the speed, the more difficult it is to control uh, the... Uh, uh, the oversteer and even if you control it you're losing so much time that it's not worth it We will also come back to that uh, the, the not worth it. It's not you know um, Something that I say lightly I will, I will get back to that in a minute uh, Because there was still exploitation with this too Bench 200 kilometers 220 Impossible. Just... You see how fast it starts? Then, obviously, once the whole car is rotated, the vertical uh, wings, you know, uh, the vertical wings uh, try to, to stop the rotation. This is also simulated. But you are al already half uh, sp spanned, so it's not like you can save the car. The rotation maybe stops a little bit, rot slows down, but the car is already gone. Uh, look again the replay from the outside. Here we are. Well, so in it goes and boom, instant rotation. There is no way to cut the car. No way. Full uh, opposite lock. No way to cut the car. This is where the aerodynamic uh, loss of downforce, uh, uh, the aerodynamic loss uh, because of the yaw, is is happening, and obviously. This is why on some turns like, you know, Blanche mode of, uh, of Spa, you might don't want to have an extremely oversteer setup because at some situations, some conditions, the car, you will feel the car starting to, you know, squirm and move around and it becomes almost scary, which is a pretty nice feeling. Uh, so, yeah, this, this is practically the whole um, new aero model. Um, it's a basic uh, difference. But it makes a good difference. And as I said, again, here we had some exploitation from some aliens that were able to uh, make setups, I think, especially for the um, Porsche. Uh, they would go into the turn, rotate the car a lot, and then go in a pretty important drift. It wasn't an enormous, but it was a pretty important drift uh, and getting the car out with as much traction as possible. Now it's harder, it's more difficult, you cannot exploit so wide angle drifts anymore. It's just not possible, at least not in uh, medium to, to high uh, fast uh, turns.